moving right along. I see in page four of the Guardian, President, Her Excellency, concerned over spat between Griffith and the PSC, the Police Service Commission. Of course, the president, this is the president's communication, people. Of course, the president is concerned. How could the president fail to be concerned about these matters? Her Excellency hopes that any disharmony is resolved. I'll continue lower down in the article. But the office of the president also sought to underscore that the president has no authority to direct or interfere with the commission's work. Now, that's a key point. The president who appoints the commission, the president's office is reminding the entire population that they want to underscore that the president has no authority to direct or interfere with the commission's work. Well, if the president has no authority to interfere, I ask you all, and then I'm going to provide evidence. I'm going to ask you, if the president cannot interfere because the police service commission is independent, then how can a public figure, a politician, interfere? On behalf of the cabinet, which is the executive arm, and the National Security Council of the PNM. If the president cannot interfere, how can politicians interfere hold that and wait and listen to this very carefully because Kamala Prasad Bisesa brought attention to this she called on the members of the police service commission to all resign one Mr. McNish has done so and others are soon to follow but listen to what Kamala Prasad Bisesa had to say and it's very interesting for at the first point, we're going to talk about this bishop's tea party. I heard the honorable leader of the opposition talking about a bishop's tea party, and I really didn't know what she was talking about. Run it, Archie. Let's hear it. The PNM, that is their playlist. That is their playbook. They must control everything. They must have total control to have people to do their bidding. So is it then then that the PNM working through these supposedly independent institutions as a police service commission, as the office of the president, behind the scenes in a bishop's tea party. I know Ms. Camille Robinson Richie's went to Bishop's High School. So is there a bishop's tea party? We're all behind the scenes, they're playing these out to get Gary out. Gary thinks that is the case. I don't have evidence of that, but I think there is something very wrong. In truly we say there's more in the mortar than the pestle. Something is very, very wrong. We have a constitutional crisis. This must be dealt with now. The murder is sent to the president, should be sent to the parliament for approval for the acting commission of police and end, end this puppy show. End the nonsense that is going on with such an important post, that of commission of police. Now, I didn't understand what the honorable leader was talking about, a bishop's tea party. And if Camille Robinson Regis went bishops, you know, but it gets very interesting. I went and I researched and I tried to figure out what the leader of the opposition was talking about. Because you see, when you have a democracy and you create checks and balances, good corporate governance, good political structure means you try to get not only vast representation across an entire country, but you try to get disparate units that are not connected in order to have checks and balances, different eyes and ears on decisions, keep the independence and observe and uphold the separation of powers. So when I heard this Bishop's Tea Party, I... I had to go and start to research and read. So Camille Robinson Regis is from bishops. Sharon Rowley, wife of Prime Minister Keith Rowley, is from bishops. And she told Newsday a few years ago, and I quote, as a past student, and you know we bishops people always stick together. That was on the appointment of the president Paula May Weeks 
of the, the President of the Republic who also went to bishops. Then I noticed that there is a lady called Bliss Sipasad who Mr. K. Wall Singh has a lot to say about in a detailed email and letter presented that Bliss Sipasad also went to Bishops Anstey. And here you see Keith Rowley at the Bishop Anstey uh, 100th anniversary art show. You know anything to do with art? All your suffering, man can't take care of the children. Road mash up, thing mash up, no jobs, sh country on lockdown. But he always have time to go and look at art. This double stuff Oreo that all you put as Prime Minister. But it's a call to art and it's a trilogy of Bishop's Anstey. And then I realized that Sonel Rowley, it's a scholar, brilliant young lady, Rowley's daughter, went to Bishop's. And I said, but wait, there were independent senator that sit behind me. I don't know if she's Bliss, Sipasad's sister, but she's an independent senator. And did she go to Bishop's also? Now this thing that the leader of the opposition was talking to me about, talking to us on Monday night forum, I now start to understand because people governance is not about friendship Rowley and his corporate governance structure is put only his friends and family tightly in a circle good procure procurement remove eyes ears and brains from the process and control your money in a tight circle. So you have his good friend of 50 years, Noel Garcia, that when I come out of Massey so that I see he outside Massey so the one big bag, and I swear I see Rowley name on it. He is spending and has been spending and building airport, hospital, health center, sports center, police station, fire station, community, community center, and every single house in Trinidad and Tobago now, on top of that Red House, President's House, and Rowley's Prime Minister's residence, all of that one man. Then Heritage Petroleum, Rowley puts his personal attorney, A.A. Kwamina, and then the barrier, he puts his good friend, Newman George, and interlocking directorships across the board, people on six, seven, eight, nine, ten boards. But now, in the other arm of the government, where there's supposed to be separation, where there's supposed to be independence, we are seeing a Bishop's Tea Party. And this is also connected to Rowley, because he has a close affinity and love to his wife and his daughter, who are bishops. And bishops stick together. Sticking together is not good corporate governance open wide many checks and balances to make sure things go right non-interference meaning no interlocking directorship no friendship no affinity therefore no conflict of interest so sticking together in government is not good it's frowned upon especially when there's supposed to be independence so now these bishops girls who stick together the president is one, and she appointed her bishop skill, Bliss Sipasad, as the chairperson of the Police Service Commission. Now, why is that important? First of all, you, you see that there could be a problem. Rudal Munilal, since 2018, alerted this country to this possible problem. Because he said when the Paula May Weeks was, was putting forward Bliss Sipasad to be the chairman of the Independent Police Service Commission, Rudal Munilal, member for Arapuch East, in the parliament said, hold up, that Bliss Sipasad was a PNM chairman of a PNM CDA board. You see, when I tell you that you have to keep politics and independence separate, Munilal in response pointed out that Sipasad was a member of the CDA board appointed in December 2015, two or three months after leave up that door rush, right? But thanks, look at there. 
Bless Sipa Sad, Police Service Commission, go back to the other one. Nice, let me read that. Appointed in December 2015, PNM now win. September 2015, she on a PNM board one time. And then later on, after her Bishop's Guild is appointed president, this PNM Bishop's Guild is put at the head of an independent police service commission. Now you see when the opposition talk early, had the media, had the scholars, had the political scientists, had the people who understand corporate governance, uh, took on what Munilal said, took it seriously, and put pressure immediately to put a different chairman. This situation and this constitutional crisis would not be going on now. But you all play games with politics. When uh, UNC MPs talk, you all ignore it. You all push Rowley. So we have the biggest goat in the history of Trinidad and Tobago as a prime minister. But you didn't listen. But look. Orapuch East MP Rudal Murila says, Wealth Manager Blissy Passat, the newest member of the Police Service Commission, should consider leaving her government appointed position on the board of the Shagaramas Development Authority to prevent what? A conflict. So now we're moving on.